Finding pure metal in the ground is rare. Most metals are combined with other elements in the Earth's crust to form rocks. This is malachite and it contains the element copper. And this is pure copper metal. For thousands of years, people have known how to extract this metal from the rock. Malachite, otherwise known as copper ore, is found in the ground. This mine here at the Great Orm in Llandidno dates back to the Bronze Age, a time when copper was used for making tools and weapons. But first, you need to find some malachite. Underground, there are over six kilometres of narrow tunnels. Where I'm walking now was originally a vein of green malachite. It was dug out by people over 4,000 years ago, leaving behind a maze of passages and chambers. So just imagine this whole cavern was once filled with copper ore. The first miners used large stones to dig out pieces of the precious green rock. Malachite isn't just one element, it's made of several. As well as copper, it contains carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. To extract the copper from the rock, you need to get rid of all the other elements. And that's done by a process known as smelting. First, the malachite is crushed. Then it's placed in a crucible ready for heating. In the Bronze Age, copper ore was smelted in a small furnace made of clay. It reaches temperatures as high as 1,000 degrees Celsius. Of course, they didn't know that in the Bronze Age. They just knew it had to be very hot. Air pumped in through bellows helps the furnace reach the right temperature. Then, in goes the crucible and it's covered with charcoal. The charcoal reacts with all the other elements in the malachite, leaving behind the copper. and the result, liquid copper, an element. Once the copper has been extracted, it can be poured into a stone mould. It quickly solidifies and begins to take on the shape of an axe head. Its beauty and durability made copper a highly prized element. Today, copper ore is mined on a huge scale and smelted in massive furnaces. Copper metal is used for all sorts of everyday items, like water pipes, coins and copper wire. Tin is another metal element which can be extracted from rock. This is a lump of tin ore. As well as tin, it contains oxygen. Smelt it and once again, the pure metal is left behind. Copper and tin are both elements, so what's the difference between one element and another? Copper and tin are made up of particles called atoms. In pure copper, all the atoms are the same as each other. It's the same with tin, but tin atoms are bigger. A pure element is made of just one type of atom, 